Here's something that'll make you think. New video showing how far a sneeze can travel is raising questions about social distancing. A researcher at MIT says that when somebody sneezes, the particles can spread up to 27 feet. News 8's Shannon Handy has more in this Verify report. We keep hearing the proper amount of social distancing is six feet right here. But if a sneeze can travel up to 27 feet, which is the length of this tape measure plus another two feet, should we reconsider the rule? The slow motion video is graphic, but according to the MIT researcher behind it, it's an accurate look at what happens when someone sneezes, spraying droplets as far as 27 feet away. Originally posted by the Journal of the American Medical Association, the video and corresponding article have gone viral. So, is it possible for a sneeze to travel that far? Yes. We spoke with Dr. Jotu Sandu with Sharpery Steely. He says environmental conditions play a key role. If it's warm or moist, uh, they carry these droplets a lot farther. Researchers in Finland found similar results, releasing a separate video showing how far particles can travel in a grocery store, saying they can stick around for several minutes. Can particles really stay in the air that long? According to Dr. Sandu, yes. Someone may have coughed or sneezed either in that vicinity, maybe five, 10 minutes before you got there, or maybe even the aisle over and now with the ventilation system that's going on, that's carrying that cough and sneeze over to your aisle or other aisles. But Dr. Sandu says it's more likely the aerosol particles stick around even longer and studies suggest COVID-19 is a droplet infection. Regardless, should we be social distancing more than six feet? That depends. Dr. Sandu says if you're in a confined space with several people around, it's a good idea. Even better though, continue to practice good hygiene and wear a mask. It may not protect against everything, but it is better than nothing at all. You are definitely mitigating and decreasing your risk significantly with masks. If there's a question or an issue you'd like us to look into, just email us at verify at kfmb.com.